Apostle Brigham Young Jr. felt pleased with the spirit that has animated this conference, and if the Latter-day Saints would strictly observe and carry out the counsels that are given them, there would be less need for so much preaching by the elders. We as a people know that God has led us to these mountains. We know that he raised up the prophet Joseph Smith. In preaching to those assembled at these conferences, the elders know they are addressing those who understand what God requires. They are not an ignorant people, but knowing the law of God is one thing, and the doing of it is another. The fact is, we do not live strictly according to the light that we have received. He desired himself eternal life in the presence of God, and if he failed to obtain it, it would be his own fault, in not strictly observing the laws of God, and so with his brethren and sisters. He had recently visited the settlements in the south, and he was delighted to notice their growth, for they were fast filling up in numbers, and he verily believed that they were also growing in faith. He was satisfied that sooner or later we as a people must observe some of the statutes of the Lord that now lay as a dead letter in our books, for God has decreed that his people must be united. What course the Lord will adopt to make us one he did not know, whether by letting loose upon us our enemies or some other way, it did not matter. For he felt confident that the time would come when we would either become united together by common consent or be scourged until we obeyed the revelations that had been given. God has permitted us to go hither and thither, to go to the mines, to engage in railroads and other enterprises in our own way, irrespective of each other. But there is no safety for us except in being united, the center stake in Jackson County will never be built up until we become one. The redemption of Zion, which has to be accomplished, and the city of the New Jerusalem that has to be built, will have to be done quickly, if accomplished within the limit of time prophesied by the Prophet Joseph. And if we do not make more progress, the work might devolve upon the Lamanites. He also spoke of the condition of many of the cooperative institutions which he had observed during his visit through the settlements. He spoke on the principles of consecration, and urged the adoption of correct habits of life to secure the blessing and protection of our Heavenly Father.